It's really meant to be an educational facility in itself. It's supposed to be interpretive, so you're supposed to ask questions. Now faculty and staff at Unity College have more answers as to just how energy efficient this house is. The college president and his wife live in what is now known as the Unity House. Construction began in 2008 with hopes it would become net zero, meaning it would produce as much or more electricity than it uses. We produced 11 kilowatt hours more uh, than we used uh, over one year from October to October. College Sustainability Coordinator Jesse Pyle says it's feasible for the home to produce several hundred additional kilowatt hours above and beyond what's consumed. Some of the savings lie within the solar-based heating system and the design from concrete floors that keep it cool in the summer to the Tyvek insulated walls that keep it warm in winter. They weren't eager to hide the ductwork even uh, because they want people to think about uh, how the house is heated. The home holds the highest level of green building certification and is believed to be one of only a handful of homes in the U.S. that is net zero. What started out as an experiment is now changing the face of home building. The builder, Bensonwood Homes of New Hampshire, is currently selling several different versions of this home, naming them all after the Unity House. The future's now. There, there may not be flying cars, but we can, we can sure live in houses like this. Adrian Bennett, WABI-TV5 News, Unity.